Hello there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Both my sons, Jason Giordano doing the video and he's going to help me uh, put this back together and my other son Danny. Uh, what we're doing here is he removed this air conditioning unit a year or two ago. I can tell it's been a while because I see a whole bunch of rats and skeleton bones down there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is i got to put some studs in here. So what we're doing is we're getting a template and we're going to put them every 16 inches and, and just uh, build this up because it's too large an opening to stucco without doing the, the um, studs. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to uh, put maybe, maybe four studs in here and as soon as we're done with the stud work then I'll show you how to do the paper wire. I've shown you many times on other videos but because this is studs, just a bit different. Uh, you'll see it as we do it. We'll get to that stage uh, about 15 minutes. All right, what he's doing there is putting uh, the last stud in. We're still got to break out that right side. It's kind of like sheetrock. We want to put our joint directly on the stud. So here's our first stud here. And then we stay every 16 inches and we go to the next stud. Go ahead and Jabe do the breakout over there and then put the last stud. We'll sister it on there and we'll start the paper and wire. Okay guys, putting this last bit of paper on top of these studs here. We got a stud here, here, here. I only had to put in five. Uh, sistered a couple onto the remaining one. But we pulled out all the stuff of that was between here too. Because our new our new wire is going to go over here and then down in here. So it's best to remove all the stuff that was on uh, the foundation. So we're, we're getting there. I'm going to put this last piece on and we're going to wire it. And then I'm going to show you how we do the cement work. And I'm going to be, this is two coats. Two coats. The first coat I'm going to put luminite in the first couple buckets. Aluminite will set it depending on how much aluminite I put in it. Uh, the first coat is going to be a lot of aluminite because I want that to set quickly. I want it to set within 15 minutes, hard as a rock. The second coat, I will also add aluminite. This is a small patch. We're way up in the hills. There's no need for me to come twice here. So when I get to that stage, you'll see how we do it. And this is not a three coat process. A lot of folks think I'm doing three coats. It's two coats. The second coat, I will float the second coat out to match this finishing. Okay guys, I'm actually um, backtracking a little bit. I'm stapling all this off. And I'll tell you what, if you got something like this, if you're not sure how to do it, and you have an air conditioning unit or something right in your way, better hire a professional. I'm making it look a lot easier than it actually is because I do this for a living. I'm using my gun in order to staple everything because I couldn't get a hammer in here. And if I tried, it was tough enough just to break all this out. Um, of course, with the gun, you can really staple it off and the compressor is going to go on any minute and sound pretty loud and it'll, it'll drown me out. But anyway, you got something like this, hire somebody who knows what they're doing because I'm going to make it look a lot easier than it actually is. And I'm doubling up my wire here because it's all studs. So we got a stud surface and it takes a little bit more uh, stucco but just the nature of the trade. Alright guys, we're going to take lunch so I'm just putting a scratch coat on here. It's called a scratcher. You do your first coat. You scratch it horizontally, it gives a mechanical bond for the second coat. So, we'll see you after we finish lunch. Okay folks, we're complete with this little project here now. It's a two coat system. The texture is in the second coat. So, that's what I like to point out. This is the second coat and I take my sponge float and I just bring the aggregate out or bring the sand out. So that's what I did here. Just like that and go upward motions. Upward, if you go down and it's a little too wet, then the whole thing can fall out until it's fully solid. So, there you have it, a float finish where this old air conditioning system used to be. Thanks, Jay, for doing the video. Uh, thanks, Dan, for helping too. And we'll see you folks on the next one. And thanks you for watching. Bye-bye.